Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the construction and design of mine boundary pillars as per Rule 12b of Mineral Concession Rules 2016. As an example for this video, a mining lease boundary has been made with the boundary dimensions as shown. Each corner of the lease area shall have a boundary pillar which is called corner pillar. Corner is the bend in the lease boundary. Where to construct intermediate pillars? There shall be erected intermediate boundary pillars between the corner pillars in such a way that each pillar is visible from the adjacent pillar located on either side of it. In this example, pillar number 13 and 15 are on the either side of pillar number 14. So from pillar 13 or pillar 15, pillar 14 should be visible. The distance between two adjacent pillars shall not be more than 50 meters. The distance between these two corner pillars is 190 meter. So we place intermediate pillar after 50 meter, 50 meter, 50 meter and this distance is 40 meter. Then the distance between these two pillars is 45 meter. So no need to place a corner uh, intermediate pillar. Then distance between these two corner pillars is 60 meter. So we place an intermediate pillar here uh, after 50 meters and this distance is 10 meter. Then distance between these two corner pillars is 100 meter. So we place an intermediate pillar after 50 meter and this distance is 50 meter and so on. Shape of the pillars. The pillar shall be square pyramid frustrum shaped above surface and cuboid shaped below surface. The pillar should be made of reinforced cement concrete and no other kind of material should be used for constructing the boundary pillars. Coming to the design of corner pillar, we should have a base of 30 cm by 30 cm, overall height of 130 cm of which 70 cm shall be above ground level and 60 cm below ground level. Similar is the design of intermediate pillar with the difference in overall height, base and height below ground. Color of the pillars. All the pillars shall be painted in yellow color and top 10 cm in red enamel paint. How to number the boundary pillars? Each pillar shall have a serial number in clockwise direction and the number shall be engraved on the pillars. The number of pillars shall be the number of the individual pillar upon the total number of pillars in the lease. In this example, we have 18 pillars. So starting from this pillar, it will be 1 upon 18, 2 upon 18, 3 upon 18, 4 upon 18 and so on. Markings on corner pillars. Apart from pillar number, distance in bearing to the forward and backward pillars and latitude and longitude shall be marked. The tip of all the corner pillars shall be a square of 15 centimeter on which a permanent circle of 10 cm diameter shall be drawn by paint or engraved and the actual boundary point shall be intersection of two diameters drawn at right angles. The location and number of the pillars shall also be shown in the surface and other plans maintained by the lessee. In case of forest area within the lease, the size and construction and color of the boundary pillars shall be as per the norms specified by the forest department in this behalf. So this was about the design and construction of mining lease boundary pillars as per rule 12V of MCR 2016. Remember the lease boundary survey should be accurate within such limits of error as the controller general Indian Bureau of Mines may specify in this behalf. This video was made by Pankaj Saran in association with Deepak Gaur, Principal Consultant, Mining 360 Services, Ahmedabad.